Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys another APA Wi-Fi video, this time for week 11 against Lord MV himself. And before we get into this, guys, obviously a couple of things I want to say. First of all, make sure to check MV out down below. His link will be the first thing under the timestamp for when the match actually starts. Be sure to skip that if you don't want to see the team builder. And before I say anything else, I just want to go ahead and give a big shout out to MV. He is one of the nicest dudes I have met in the draft league community. Probably the nicest guy I've met in the draft league community besides like Panther. MV really makes people feel wanted and really makes people feel really good about themselves. After the match, he sat there and he talked to me for like an hour and it really felt like I made a new friend and that's awesome. We just sat there, we talked about life, like future, things like that, what he's doing with his life, things like that. And I thought it was really, really cool to sit there and have a friend in him. And it's really cool to be able to sit there and talk to somebody that you've looked up to for like a year or two. Like that's phenomenal, dude. So being able to play him is such an honor and he is honestly easily the most real person I have met through the APA and the most genuine person. With all that being said, I don't know how you are watching me if you haven't watched MV, but please go check him out. He is one of my favorite YouTubers. He makes some phenomenal Pokemon content, and I would really appreciate it if you guys went and checked him out. But with all that being said, we gotta get our game face on, boys. We are 5-5. Five and five. We need this win to be still in the playoff race. Even if we lose, we're still in the playoff race. We just need a guaranteed win next week, and we need, I think, Kelly to lose. Anyway, with all that being said, MV's team is going to be Celesteela, Mimikyu, Solipede, Lando Eye, Varizian, Mega Ampharos, Manaphy, Umbreon, Fortress, Zatu, and Puku Muku. Now, as far as his team goes, he's got some of my favorite Pokemon. Solipede is my favorite Pokemon, and Mimikyu is my third favorite Pokemon. And I also poked fun at him a little bit during the draft that he got Mega Ampharos, because I think it's a garbage mon. I think it's not a real Pokemon. But uh, with all that being said, the six mods that I think he's going to be bringing, I think Manaphy has a lot of opportunities to be able to set up Tail Glow and put in a lot of work against us. I think that Varizian has a phenomenal matchup for some reason. It gets walled by Salazzle, but other than that, he has a lot of answers to Salazzle, and it just puts in the finest against our team. His dual stabs are phenomenal. Its speed tier is phenomenal. Uh, Mega Ampharos, he's got to bring Mega Ampharos. I told him that it was an unmon. There's no way he's not bringing Mega Ampharos. Celesteela always has a good matchup. I just, I don't know how he's going to run it. I had no idea going into this match how he was going to bring this mon. Uh, I knew that he could bring maybe a Leech Seed set with Flamethrower, and that'd do fine, just a generic set. Or maybe he cooks up some lure in the heat. Uh, Umbreon, I thought, did a pretty good job of walling most of my team. Besides Mega Scizor, of course, it did pretty phenomenal on that front. Even then, if we decided to be a Sword Dance variant, he did have foul play for that. Uh, which I almost brought Curses work. I want to make that clear. But And then lastly, I thought Landorus didn't do phenomenal, but it did enough to where he might want to bring it. So, with all that being said, let's get into what I'm bringing and why I'm bringing it. So, the first mod I have here is going to be Salazzle. His fire resist is Manaphy, because his other fire resist is Mega Ampharos, and that just doesn't count, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have Fire Blast, Sludge Wave, Toxic, Nasty Plot. I bounced back and forth on this set. Uh, I had Specs Overheat at one point, Overheat instead of uh, Toxic, or Overheat instead of Nasty Plot, and I thought that was going to be really cool, but... I ended up with the Nasty Plot set. I felt like if we ever got an opportunity to set up Nasty Plot, if he didn't have a Scarf for this set, would do phenomenal. Um, Z Fire Blast, because his resist, like I said before, is just Manaphy, and we have enough speed to outspeed what we can. There is just pretty generic set. Rest and Special Attack, Rock. For We're actually not a Rock Friendly number of HP. We are uh, the Rest in HP, and that was a mistake on my part. You, you guys can tell that I didn't really have the most time to work on this team because I didn't have a Rock Friendly number of HP. Is this even a John Jr. team? Next up here, we're bringing Rock, Paper, Mega Scizor. Finally has a decent matchup in these four weeks. Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Swords Dance, Roost. This Scizor set bounced back and forth between a lot of things, but we ended up with this set. Uh, BP is a must. BP does phenomenal against his team. We can outspeed max speed Mega Ampharos. That is timid. U-Turn is really, really good. Just getting U-Turn momentum. Getting in on a mon like Umbreon and just clicking U-Turn is phenomenal. Um, we can live a plus two Adamant Z Earthquake from the Scolipede, and we can live two Earth Powers from the Landorus Eye, and the rest is in attack. And then we had Defog at one point, but we changed it to Roost, uh, and then we had something over Swords Dance. I want to say Bug Bite, but we changed it to Swords Dance, because if we can get an SD up once the Manaphy goes down, then Bullet Punch kind of rolls through his team. Minus the Celesteela, which is why we have U-Turn again to kind of get some momentum on that. Next up here, we do have Rust the Decidueye. This is the why we don't have Defog on Scizor anymore. We put Defog on this Mon. Roost for Longevity, and then Leaf Storm plus Hidden Power doesn't have a Resist. That's not named Mega Ampharos. And like I said before, Mega Ampharos is not a Pokemon. So we have enough Spadef to lift two Ice Beam from the Manaphy. 
we can Oko a 0 HP Manaphy with a Leaf Storm, and we have Defog, obviously, since his setter is going to be like Fortress, and we have HP Fire for the Fortress, so we don't really care about that. And then Roost for Longevity is going to be really, really nice there. Next up, we do have Shuffle King, the Zygarde, Sub Coil, 1000 Arrows, Extreme Speed. Once the Virizion goes down, this mod does really, really phenomenal. We can outspeed the max speed Celesteela. Celi can't break our sub if he is defensive, and if we can get this mod in a proper position, this mod might be able to come through and win the game for us. Next up here, we've got Archeops, Arrowhead, the mod that won the game for us last week. Rock Slide, Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, U-Turn. He does not have a Stone Edge Resist. His Stone Edge Resist is Virizion, and Stone Edge does about 50-60% to 60 to that mod because we are choice banned. Enough speed to outspeed the Virizion, pretty standard set. We are Rock Friendly number of HP. Uh, you turn Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock because Stealth Rocks actually do pretty alright against his team, and then you turn if we get in a position to where we need momentum. Lastly here we do have Big Owen, Body Slam plus Fire Punch is really really good in this game. Like I said before, his Fire Resists are not very much there, uh, and I felt like Fire Punch plus Body Slam just hit every Pokemon. So we did have Curse Recycle, and this wasn't the prime uh, function of this set. We had Curse just in case we needed to click it. We had Recycle to get the berry back, obviously, but Curse was just there because we didn't really have another better move to put there, and if we could get in a position to where we could click it, then phenomenal, but it's just there as a kind of a filler because we didn't really need it. You can live two Manaphy Surfs at plus three, and we had Facade at one point over Body Slam, but we changed it, and then I changed the EVs, and I actually don't have written down what I did for the EVs. I think we have enough attack to two-hit KO Manaphy, at plus one, maybe? I'm not entirely sure on that, but with all that being said, guys, that is going to be the team that we are rocking with against Lord Envy here. Let me know what you guys think of this team down below. Please go check Envy out. I cannot stress that enough. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this match. Okay, guys, so we are here against Envy, and it is so cool to see that face on my screen after watching it for so long. But as far as the team matchup goes, we got five of the six right. We thought he was going to bring Umbreon instead of Mimikyu, and him bringing Mimikyu was fine. We do have Scizor to kind of check that. He was probably Ghost DMZ in order to deal with that. But let's go ahead and jump into this match. I decided to leave Mega Scizor because we could U-turn on pretty much anything, and he did not have a fire type, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and challenge Pokemon Trainer Envy, and will this be our first mistake? We'll go ahead and find out here. He, I am and like I said, obviously going to end up uh, leading with Rock, Paper, Mega Scizor here. Well, Rock, Paper, regular Scizor to start with. And he's going to go ahead and go into Beast Boost, which is the Celesteela. Now, my Scizor could speed creep the Monticelli, and I didn't want to be uh, taking the chance there. So I went ahead and hard switched out in case he had Fire Blast. Flamethrower did not ever kill me, but Fire Blast had a chance to. Uh, it was a 50-50 roll, I think. So I went ahead and switched into Decidueye to kind of scout what he wants to do. Um, if he does go for the Flamethrower, what he does. But I, I ha maybe expected Leech Seed there too. But he's going to go ahead and click Flame Charge, which is really, really cool. Uh, as he does click, or to get the speed boost there. And Decidueye is not really liking to take that. Uh, I, was, I, I almost ran out of time on that turn too, because I really was torn on what to go if he was going to click Leech Seed or a Fire move. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out here and go into Snorlax, I realize that if he's physical, Snorlax really hard walls him, and he's going to click Heavy Slam here, so Snorlax is actually looking like it might wall the Celesteela as long as it does not have Leech Seed. So, I'm going to go ahead and click Fire Punch here, I have no reason not to click Fire Punch, he's going to go ahead and switch out the Celesteela. Actually, you know what, no, I clicked Body Slam, expecting him to be Weakness Policy Celly, and I did not want a Weakness Policy Celly in my face, so I'm going to go ahead and click Body Slam, try to get a para on this Landers. Unfortunately, we used all our para luck last week, and we are not going to para that Landers. I'm going to go ahead and swap out here, I don't know what this thing wants to do, I'm going to go ahead and go into Scizor. This can eat two of these earthquakes even before it's mega but he decides to go ahead and go for stealth rock there which i was absolutely fine with uh, I'm going to go ahead and Mega and click U-Turn here because an HP Fire will not kill me from full unless he is like modest, I think. Like even if he was Life Orb, I don't think it ever killed. Um, so we are just going to go for the U-Turn here and kind of see what he wants to do if he has the HP Fire or what's going on there. And he is just going to go for the Earthquake there. And like I said, we should eat two of these no problem as we do end up eating two of these easily. Uh, maybe not easily, but we do end up eating two of these and I'm just going to go ahead and go for a U-Turn. And that shows me that he's pretty standard offensive and we're going to do a ton of damage to that Mon there. And that's actually not a crit. Scizor is ridiculous. But we're going to go ahead and go into Arrowhead here because at this point in the match, if you guys did not watch the team builder, I am Banded Arrowhead, Banded Archeops here. And his switch in right now, you look at his team, his switch ins could be Mimikyu and let me break his disguise, that's fine. Uh, Manaphy, which I would do like 70% to Manaphy, 60 to 70% uh, with Stone Edge unless he was like a more defensive variant. And I would do 60 or 50 to 60% to Virizion. Virizion was a 2 at KO with Stone Edge. So while I did have Rock Slide, I really thought he was going to switch in Virizion, no problem. So I went ahead and decided to click Stone Edge because I feel like that was my play. No, no mod on his team took two Stone Edges. If he went Mimikyu, that's fine. We click Stone Edge again. We do end up missing the Stone Edge and he explodes on us. And that is very, very unfortunate because Archeops put a dent in his team 
very much so. We're going to live the explosion, but that does not matter because he can just go into Mimikyu and revenge kill us. So that miss, very, very unfortunate there, but I can't be too mad because we did hit three Stone Edges last week. And that's the risk I ran when I clicked Stone Edge. Completely my own fault there. But he's going to go ahead and go to Mim 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 And he's going to click Shadow Sneak here, and he's actually going to take out our Archeops, obviously. I clicked Stone Edge there again just because I didn't want him to set up in my face. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go into Rock, Paper, Mega Scizor. And if he was not Sash and he was Z and he's clicked Sword Dance, and we did have Scizor in the back to always Oko with Bullet Punch. So uh, he is going to switch out here. I'm going to end up clicking U-Turn, I do believe. No, no, no. I did click Bullet Punch. I clicked Bullet Punch here. Or maybe Roost. Let me find out. That's fine. I think I clicked Bullet Punch because I didn't want to risk him setting up. Yeah, I clicked Bullet Punch because I didn't want to risk him setting up or popping a Z-Move on me or anything like that. And we do a lot of damage to that uh, Celesteela, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and swap out because I know that he's going to click Flame Charge here. He has no reason not to. We're going to go ahead into go, we're gonna go ahead and go into our good buddy Shuckle King, the Zygarde, here. Uh, as we are going to break the aura there, he is going to go ahead and go for that Flame Charge and get the plus one. And at this point... I did make a questionable play uh, right here. I think I ended up going for the sub. I didn't think he would have HP Ice since he was a uh, more offensive uh, physical variant from what we've seen so far. And even if he had HP Ice, we always got a sub up anyway. But I did not quite think this through because he d is at plus one. Uh, he is going to go ahead and click HP Ice there and do about half to us. And we're going to click sub and we're going to put ourselves in range of another HP Ice because a thousand arrows will actually not kill him from this range, unfortunately, because he is... Celesteela, like he's a super bulky Pokemon, so and he's not smacked down yet, so Thousand Arrows is not yet super effective. So he's gonna go ahead and click HP Ice, has no reason to do anything else. He's gonna go ahead and break our sub, as I am gonna get click Thousand Arrows and do about a gajillion damage to this Celesteela. But a gajillion damage is not enough to KO this Celi, unfortunately. He lives on about 40 there, so um. I think here what I ended up doing was I ended up sacking off Zygarde because we were at like 20, 30 percent, uh, 30, 30, 40 percent, excuse me. I lied. I completely lied. I forgot what I did. I'm so sorry. We went to Celesteela because I remembered that, or we went into Snorlax on Celesteela because I remembered that Snorlax could hardball this Celesteela as he's just going to go for hidden power again. And I was hoping this would put me in range of my berry, but we are just out of range of our berry, even with the crit. So what I'm going to do here is I think I end up clicking Body Slam again, or maybe I hard switch out. I don't quite remember. I think, or maybe I clicked Fire Punch. Yeah, I just clicked Fire Punch there because I figured he wasn't Weakness Policy Sully at this point, even if he was, we KO'd. And we do about 50% to that Verizian. So, MV makes a phenomenal play here. He doubles out, knowing that I would switch out into the Mana Fee, and that's fine. I wanted to switch out my Snorlax anyway because on Rock Switch in the next Rock Switch and we got, we got our Berry, and if he went Mana Fee, this was our Mana Fee answer, so I wanted to be as healthy as possible. He gets to play right into my Salazzo. I could have just clicked Sludge Wave here, but, uh, expecting him to Tail Glow, which I probably should have done in hindsight, but I'm going to go ahead and go into Big Owen, which is the check to this Mon, takes two Surfs at plus three, and we are going to go ahead and get our Super Berry back, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, basically what this means is we can click Body Slam a couple of times on this Manaphy and hope for a Para as he's going to go ahead and click Tail Glow, and this game right now has just been really positioned, like getting ourselves in a good position. At this point in the game, Snorlax can actually kind of win the game. You look at his team, you look at Snorlax with Body Slam, Fire Punch it does a lot of work so i'm gonna go ahead and click recycle here in hopes that maybe he would have put me in range of our berry unfortunately he does not and we're gonna go ahead and go for body slam here and try to get a para as he does end up going for tail glow one more time which is super scary this is a plus six mana fee and unless we get a para here we actually might lose the game we're gonna go ahead and click body slam and we are not going to get a para, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and switch Snorlax out because I have one more chance to get a para. Next time I switch him in, we get our Super Berry. We have a chance to live one Scald. Even if we get burned, I don't care. We need the para. I'm going to go ahead and go into Shuckle King and try to sack him off. He is our most useless member at this point in the match. There's nothing that we can really set up on, especially because we are a Coil variant over a Dragon Dance variant. So Zygarde is going to go down there, and I'm going to go right back into Big O in the Snorlax and try to beat this man if he down. We have to get a para or we lose the game. That's kind of how it is. So Lazo outspeeds, but unfortunately, we are Fire Z instead of Poison Z. Uh, and depending on if he burns us, he's not going to be in range of a Sludge Wave. So he's going to go ahead and Scald again, and we'll see how much damage that does. It does not KO us. He does not get the burn. We are going to Body Slam, and we miss out on the para again which sucks but that's the game we play like it, it, it's a 30 percent chance i can't be mad i'm gonna go ahead and sack off rust here uh in hopes that salazzo actually has a chance to ko manaphy from this range if he's zero hp we do um i think it was 38 to 50 percent 38 to 48 percent somewhere around there and if he was 252 hp we didn't like 32 to 42 something like that like we had a decent chance to kill him depending on what kind of set he was uh he does end up getting a burn on decidueye does not matter at all he is just going to take out our decidueye here as he goes for scald um 
So basically, I've got a couple of options here. I can go Scizor, click Bullet Punch, and guarantee put him in range of Salazzle Sludge Wave. Or, I can go Salazzle and take the chance on the roll. I decide I'm going to go ahead and go Salazzle and take a chance on the roll. Because if we don't, if we go Scizor and we lose Scizor, Mim uh, excuse me, yeah, Mimikyu just kind of wins. So, I really had to take the chance on this roll. We're going to go ahead and click Sludge Wave. And he just lives on a sliver. And he did tell me that he was uh, 252 HP or 236 HP or some high amount of HP. And that was basically had a 1 in 8 chance to KO. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, we're not going to get that there, and Salazzo is going to go down, and we are just going to lose to this plus six Manaphy sitting right in front of our face. We're going to go ahead and go Mega Scissor and hope for an Ultra Uber Crit on Bullet Punch. Obviously, there's nothing we can do. We do just lose the game, and in hindsight, I should have, I guess, went Bullet Punch Mega Scissor uh, on the Manaphy to get the damage off first, but then we just lost to Mimikyu, and there was no point anyway. So, we are going to go down here to the Manaphy Scald, and then I believe we have just Snorlax left, if I remember correctly and we're, we're gonna lose we're just gonna lose like that's how it is he got in a really good position and we didn't get the body slam pairs but i'm not i'm not complaining about that you can't get too mad it's just a chance to happen so uh he is gonna reveal his last move to be energy ball or maybe he didn't reveal his third to last move or second to last move whatever anyway he kills our snorlax and he is going to win this game and gg it's mb we are going to go down there uh which brings us to five and six record which is unfortunate but we still have a chance to make playoffs if you guys have not watched kelly's side yet Watch that before I say this, but Kelly won his last week match, I do believe, and now he's sitting at 5 and 6 minus 10. We are 5 and 6 minus 15. So Kelly has to lose next week, and we have to win next week in order to make playoffs, which is going to be very, very tough. Uh, we do face Nate next week, so hopefully we'll be able to pick up a dub against him and make playoffs. I really want to make playoffs for you guys so badly. I've already got a team built, I think, or at least like half of a team. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, with all that being said, please go check out MB down below. We did miss that Stone Edge, which might have mattered a little bit, and we didn't get the Body Slam pairs, but at the end of the day, you can't be too mad about it. I hit three Stone Edges last week. I got a pair of first time last week, and th this week was the exact opposite. So, cannot be mad about that at all. I, it's the risk I ran when I ran those moves, and uh, just good game to MB, dude. Again, please go check MB out. He is one of the nicest people I have met in this community, if not the nicest. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would go show him some love. But with all that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will try to bring us a dub next week so we can make playoffs. But for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.